uh, how concerned are you about, how concerned should you be about uh, Europe, which really seems to be at the eye of the storm in terms of the inflation crisis? I mean, Europe is a bit of a special situation, given you have, you know, a material slowdown in growth. We do see the region falling into recession over the rest of this year. I mean, the headwinds from the energy sector are, are very apparent. Um, at the same time, you have consumer demand, which is uh, plumbing all-time lows. So I, I think that that's going to be a very much an isolated case for thinking about the reaction in that region uh, and relatively small ripples for the rest of the world. I think it will feed into an extent in terms of the sort of glowing slowdown in global demand for goods that we have seen come through, whether it's the US and Europe, uh, and that will have some impact on Asia. Um, but if we look at the Asian markets, we are seeing a little bit more domestic demand come through, which in our view means a little bit more resilience to that slowing in the developed world, uh, which might not be as strong in terms of what we're seeing in the emerging world. So again, right. we tend to focus on emerging Asia a little bit more in that context. Kerry, let's jump off uh, there into China, where the PMI uh, data was uh, deeply disappointing. We're looking for confirmation from Chice in the private forecaster uh, as well. But to what degree uh, do these numbers reduce conviction levels towards uh, mainland Chinese equities, or is there quite a strong value proposition to be had here? I mean, we do agree there is a bit of a value proposition in the long run. I think that that uh, reopening is taking a little bit of a start-stop uh, effect in terms of the fact that we are still having these, these lockdowns being imposed. And for a, a tactical nature across China, they are still struggling with, with the COVID, and we did expect case numbers to go up as they reopened. Um, the fact, view that they're still going to be very focused on suppressing COVID may mean that growth is harder to achieve, but we see all that fiscal stimulus coming through uh, as being very positive in terms of looking at the environment uh, and the opening up over the rest of this year. And again, I think that's a very positive outlook for thinking about the demand it creates within the region as well. So it is a case of saying they're going to be a bit slower in the opening. That growth is not going to live up to their expectations, but they're on a very different trajectory from the slowing growth we're seeing in the developed world.